Say hello to Sadie. <laughs> Sadie was my office cat until she started chasing people out of my office and no one could go in and feed her. So we started calling her Shady Sadie and I had to bring her home to foster so that I could learn more about her, figure out what kind of role she has and what home would be best for her because she is very beautiful, but she is the type of cat that most people aren't going to want to live with. And we want you all to be happy as much as Sadie. Sadie's first rule for staying out of trouble is making sure she has high places to perch. She's gonna feel most comfortable up high, but also she's gonna guard these spaces. So that means you shouldn't try to pet her when she's up on her perch. Come here. So the best thing to do when she's on her perch is just leave her there. Let her have her alone time. But if you do want to coax her down, you can do this by using an interactive toy or her brush, which she absolutely loves. Come on, but you gotta come down. The second rule for keeping Sadie out of trouble is you gotta exercise her. A lot. The best way to do this is by using a tool called structured play, which is essentially little play sessions that are about 10 to 15 minutes, two to three times a day, using interactive toys. Interactive play taps into a cat's natural instinct to hunt, and if done consistently, can help Sadie reduce her stress and prevent unwanted behavior. And if you don't stick to her exercise routine, this is the face that will be waking you up at three in the morning. She'll be making this sound. This one too. Yeah, the window thing's a problem. Sadie, enough. Sadie's third rule actually keeps you both out of trouble. And that's only pet her when she's ready. It seems like a hand coming right at Sadie's face makes her really nervous. And it'll get you into trouble. What she prefers instead is to be petted on the back of the neck and shoulders, but only once she's faced away from you. Here's another look at the preferred spot. So when Sadie approaches and she looks like she wants attention, you gotta make her spin. Come on, you gotta turn around. There you go. And then you get your pets. Good girl. She's really good at her spins. See, hi. <laughs> this is here. But before you try petting her for the first time, I would recommend starting with her brush, which she absolutely loves. And then you can try a little sneak attack. Following Sadie's rules helps her build confidence and helps you earn her trust. But Sadie is in all rules. Hi, Sadie. She's a very curious, talkative, and social cat. She loves to be right in the middle of the action, whether it be helping you with your work, making dinner, or sleeping at the foot of the bed. And it's true, she's never gonna be a lap cat, but in the right home, she can really thrive and just be a lot of fun to be around. And she's pretty cute too.
Sadie and I would like to thank you for watching her video and just a reminder if you are looking for a high maintenance cat with endless energy and quirks and someone who doesn't like to cuddle and has a lot of rules and even when you abide by those rules sometimes she'll still get you and put you in your place and Sadie's the cat for you.